hey, what's up, dudes? Welcome back. Another uh, another video today. Could you imagine if I got like sponsored by Sprite? Ah. Huh? <laughs> Welcome back. Good to see you guys. Today I got a nice simple tutorial. I'm talking real simple, something that you probably have heard about, but maybe never actually put to use. I'm talking about multi-track audio recording so that when you get your videos together for YouTube or whatever you're trying to do, maybe you want to get out the music, maybe you want to take out your friends talking in the background, maybe you want to solo and just have the game audio or whatever you're looking at on screen. I'm here to show you guys exactly how to do it. Very simple, very easy. So let's jump right on into the desktop. It might my desktop and I'll show you exactly how to set this up. All right. So first things first, I open up a nice little instance of OBS here. And the very first thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to add a camera just so you guys can see my face a little bit bigger here. So I'm going to go ahead and add this camera. So now we have our camera set up here. And the next step we're going to need to do is go into our settings, go over here to our output, and you're going to go over to recording. Now, when you go over to recording, you have a bunch of different options here. Now, again, if you haven't already done so, if you're on simple, your output mode, change that over to advanced. You should always go to advanced. Now you can set up your streaming tab, but for this, we're only using recording because you can't really separate audio for streaming. That would be a really cool feature, but I don't know. I'll look more into that. I don't think it's actually possible. However, there is one option you can do. I'll talk about that in another video. So you're going to come over to your uh, recording tab and down here you have a recording format. Now you have a bunch of different formats here. I think it defaults to FLV, but for this, we want to make sure that we can record multiple tracks of audio. Now to do that, you can select MP4, MOV, uh, but when those selected, you do get a little warning here that says, Hey, if your if your OBS crashes, your PC crashes, we're not gonna be able to save that file. So we recommend that you record under MKV. So by selecting MKV, that is not going to be a recognizable format in some programs. But once you record this, then you got to remux it. And I'll show you exactly how that works. And once you do the remux, you're converting it to MP4 and then you can edit it. It's very easy, very simple, and it's quick. So let's go ahead and show you guys exactly what I want to do here. I'm going to select uh, the MKV. We're going to record off of that bad boy. You can see right here, you have all these different audio tracks and uh, you can come through and select each individual one you want to record or just select them all if you want all six tracks recorded. Now, if you only have three sets of audio tracks on your entire system, then you know, that's all you need. So, you know, make sure you're only using what you need. You don't need to overdo it. Uh, for this, I'm going to select all six so you can see everything. Over on the audio tab, I did go ahead and label each track as audio track one, audio track two, audio track three. It doesn't really matter. So now that I'm happy, I'm going to hit apply and OK. And now our settings are set up to how we want it for recording. So our next step is to gain uh, a couple of sources in here. So what I want to do is because I have a GoXLR, this really caters to me and uh, recording multiple things of audio. Now, this isn't going to work for everybody, especially if you're using your desktop audio for all of your sounds and devices and stuff. It's going to be a little bit harder if you're using something like a display capture or something like that. So. This caters to people who use like a game capture as well as like maybe a microphone specifically to capture, maybe their desktop audio to capture. Maybe you have some music in the background. In that sense, you could go ahead and add a output capture. And this is what I would end up doing. I would add an output capture. I would call this my music and I hit OK. Now, this could be your desktop audio, everything playing on your desktop that's, you know, behind your game and everything that could be its own set of source. You know what I mean? So because I'm not going to use desktop here, I'm actually going to use my music on my GoXLR. I have a specific fader on my GoXLR. So I'm going to hit music and hit OK. And now it's going to capture any music that starts to play. Next, I'm going to add a secondary source and we're going to add an output capture. And we're going to call this Discord slash chat. So anytime that somebody talks to me in my Discord, I'm going to have that on a separate track as well. I'm going to hit OK and we're going to select our chat. And then uh, I'll add maybe one or two more here. Output capture. We're going to call this one gameplay slash desktop and I'm going to hit OK. And then I'm going to select system because that's where all my my gameplay and my uh, everything is coming through is my is my system. I'm going to hit OK on that one. So all all my gameplay and everything comes through on my desktop as well as, uh, you know, any other sounds that happen on my desktop. I want to capture that in its own specific source. Maybe this is looking pretty good here. I'm actually going to drag this up a little bit and we're going to switch sides. I'm going to move myself over here. Oh, yeah, I forgot one more thing here. I need to add a microphone. I completely forgot. And because I didn't set it up inside of the settings now, normally you can come in here to your audio tab and add your mic here. So I could come here and just choose my little my my, my chat mic here, my 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 AT2035. Or I could just simply come over here, add a source and add an input source capture and call this my microphone. 
and hit okay. And now I can select my microphone and hit okay again. And now you can see my microphone is making noise right here. So it's seeing it, which is, which is what we want. I'm going to drag this up a little bit more so you can see all the different waveforms here. So we have our microphone working, our video capture device. That's actually my camera. That's actually getting some audio here. So that's looking pretty good. Next step, we want to make sure that we have some, uh, some gameplay desktop audio. Now the simplest way to do that is just come down here to your little speaker icon, click your speaker icon, and then just click on the little uh, volume thing here. And, and now you see that it's making that sound, right? So that's great. Nice. So now we know that that's making a, a nice noise. It's looking a little high there. So I'm going to just drag that down a little bit, maybe something like that. We'll check it again. I'm just watching the little waveforms. Next up, I need to make sure that my discord is also working. So because I'm not talking to anyone right now, because my friends are either asleep or doing their own thing, I do have it set up to where if I push mute, uh, I can mute my headphones and my microphone or undo it or just keep it going. You know what I mean? So that's making sound. That's pretty nice. So there you go. All right. Next step, we need to add music. So I'm going to come over here and just add a little music track. All right. So I'm going to put these headphones on just so I can make sure I'm hearing everything here. Now you can see that we're getting some uh, some levels here on our music. I'm going to drag this down because it's maybe a little bit too loud and I want to make sure it's uh, my voice is actually above the music now i'm thinking everything's pretty good here but i need to set up the recording to make sure that all the audios are on their own specific track so if i come over here and i click on the little uh the little settings icon and i click on advanced audio properties now you get this whole new tab and you can see on this tab we have a bunch of different things we have we got all of our, our different audio tracks here as well as their volumes as well as if they're mono if you want to keep them as mono you want to balance them you want to offset the sync so maybe my music's playing and i want to sync it in like you know five seconds later so i could type in you know i can go over to my music and type in you know five thousand and that would offset it by five seconds so when my music plays for me it plays it instantly but when it plays it on stream it's five seconds delayed you could mess with the monitoring so if you needed to hear your own audio here if i go to my microphone this might sound a little weird here if i monitor and output now we're hearing double audio and it's it's kind of weird so i want to make sure i turn that off now i want to make sure that all the tracks are selected that i want to have selected and you can see that we have six different audio tracks here and if i unselect everything so let's say over here i wanted to have my microphone as the primary audio so i'm gonna go ahead and take the microphone and i'm gonna select one for that one that's gonna be on its own one track now on the second track that's gonna come in i maybe want to have my video capture from my camera as another microphone capture so that's my backup audio and then over here as music maybe i'll make my music number three so everything on the music track three will be music and everything on four will be my gameplay slash desktop audio and then five will be my discord and then just for my own sake here, I'm actually going to select everything and mix everything together into one giant track. And this giant track is going to have everything in it so I can already have it as uh, as normal. So when you normally record, everything is in one single track. Everything that plays inside of your OBS is all recorded at the exact same time into one track. And this way I have like a backup of all my tracks just being mixed if I want it. Now I don't need it, but you know, it's there just for me. Now what I want to do is just... For my own sake here, like you don't you don't need to do this, but I'm gonna go ahead and add a little desktop capture. And this will be nice so that we can actually see what's happening when we're editing this. So I'm gonna add a display capture. And I'm gonna actually gonna go alt and drag this down to something like this. So we can actually see the audio that's being recorded and where it's coming from. And I think that looks pretty good. And now we're going to start recording. I'm gonna put my headphones on here. I'm gonna go ahead and hit start recording. So now we're recording just to make everything start to make noise here, I'm gonna start basically clicking on everything to make sure that everything is making a noise. You can see our music's already playing, so we have levels here. We have music, or we have audio on our uh, camera here, the video capture device. And then we also have my microphone doing something, but we also need our gameplay slash desktop sounds. So I can simply do that by again, just clicking on this. And then I also need the Discord, so I can also start hitting the Discord. And now if I hit all these together, it's making a lot of noise. I know this isn't, this isn't my. <laughs> okay, so that's, that's enough. That's enough. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, kill the music there. All right, so I'm going to hit stop recording. Now that we've recorded all that stuff, I'm going to go ahead and come up here to show recordings. And you can see this is the file right here. But this file will actually not work inside of my editing suite. So I'm going to open up that same folder that had the video in it, the M, the MKV. And if I try to import this, I'm going to get an error saying I can't. The file format's not supported. So what we need to do is actually go back into our OBS. So if you click on file and you come down to Remux, 
you can uh, you can click on that and now you're gonna get a, a little situation where you got to import this footage and then get an output so if i put if i come over here and take the footage that we recorded this one right here you can see that's the one we're selecting hit open and then you come over to this side and you can actually re you, you can change the way that the file format is so i could leave it as mp4 i could also change it to maybe one of these um but i'm gonna go ahead and just call this uh mp4 remux because that's what we uh that's what we're doing here so i'm gonna hit save and now it's ready to start the remuxing process or basically encoding it in a different format, but also keeping all the audio tracks. So I'm going to hit remux just like that. It's already done. I hit OK. I close out of this. I can close out of my OBS if I want to. And now you can see we have a secondary file right here called remux. So that looks pretty good. I'm going to come down here and back up into our premiere. Now, when I try to import that footage, let me just take this and then drag it into the tester. Just like that, it is now inside. I can double click on it and you can see that we do have some uh, some footage here. Looks pretty good. And I'm going to go ahead and shrink that back down. Now I'm going to right click on this. I'm going to go to make a new sequence from that clip. And just like that, look at all those beautiful, beautiful audio tracks that we have down below. If I come in here to the middle and I, I hit play. Start hitting the Discord. And now if I hit all these together, there's a, <laughs> there's a lot of uh, a lot of stuff going on here. So. Let me go ahead and uh, set it here. I'm going to turn down the master volume a little bit so it's not too loud, but so I'm going to hit play and I'll actually show you. You can actually hit this little S icon right here and that'll solo that track. So if I hit play, start hitting the discord and now if I hit all these together. Oh no, dude. <laughs> so it's it sounds like my microphone maybe got a little messed up here. Uh, you can see I have a little bit of an issue right there. So so that's playing and I sound like a like a droid on Star Wars, but now I can solo this other track. Epidemic sound, man. I, I get hey free 30 days of music on that on the so that so that is my uh my my capture of my my camera here, my camera's internal audio. And again, I can uncheck that and go to this one. That is specifically just the music. And if I unsolo that and solo back over here, that is my gameplay slash desktop. And again, if I come back here and hit uh solo on the next one, you can hear that that's my Discord turning on and off my microphone and, and headset. And then again, I have everything all down below here. Again, I'm sorry. This is going to sound terrible. I know this isn't, this isn't my... But you get it. You you understand that this is working. This is, in fact, giving me what I want. So now you can see we have multiple different pieces of audio here. So if I wanted to go and edit this for YouTube, I could easily do it. You know, that music that's playing in the background, maybe I don't have the rights to it. So when I put it into YouTube, I'll get it flagged and, uh, that, you know, that's no good. So you can see uh, that's it's, it's a nice, simple video, man. Hopefully uh, this video ends up being kind of short so you guys are not too bombarded with information here. I want to keep this video short. We've already recorded for 20 six minutes but you never know when you're going into the editing and you're trying to make everything good so anyways like and subscribe on the, on the old on the old channel and video and you know the more likes we get the more eyes get into the channel and the more we can keep going you know upwards and onwards you know what i'm saying anyways appreciate you guys watching follow me on twitter at, at twitch activator or you can go check me out on instagram at, at twitch activator or you know i think i have like a facebook as well at twitch activator and then you got the channel which is actually twitch.tv slash activator I know, dude. I gotta get the Twitch out of my name. But I, 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 Activator's taken. Like, I don't know what I'm supposed to do. Anyways, I'll catch you guys in the next video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, until next time, stay awesome. Peace out.